Healing with data is probably one of the most frustrating parts with working with unstructured information. This leads me to the question, why would anyone sort out unstructured data? Well, the answer is simple. It's to extract valuable insights, improve data accessibility, and even enable automation for reports, workflows, or processing transactions. But here's the catch. It takes hours and hours to manually sift through and organize all the data. Thankfully, AI has an easy solution. This is where I would like to introduce Unstrack, a no-code platform purpose-built for large language model-powered unstructured data extraction. You simply upload your file of choice, whether that's a CSV file or a PDF or any other document. Then you just simply specify your prompts for exactly what you need to extract from the unstructured data you've uploaded whether that's the name of the issuer or whether that's an address that you're looking for. You just simply specify that as a prompt and you're going to be able to gain the extracted information. And just like that, you'll receive a combined JSON output with all the data you requested, neatly structured and ready to use. That's the power of Unstract, and it's going to basically make unstructured data easy to work with so you can focus on what really matters. And remember, this is an open source project that you can easily get started with locally. With Unstract, it leverages the power of different LMs to handle a wide variety of document formats without manual annotations, whether it's processing bank statements from 200 different banks or forms of different variations across 50 states. Unstract is going to intelligently extract data without needing custom extractors. Its AI-driven approach is going to adapt to different layouts and structures, saving you time and effort. Now, last time around, we had taken a look at the token calculator, a part of Unstract's suite of tools. This is where, rather than manually tracking token usage, as well as API costs, you can use this token calculator completely for free with different providers. You can choose different models from that provider, and then you can either upload your own document or paste in text and calculate the token consumption where we can instantly calculate token usage, compare API costs across 400 plus lang large language models. And you can see the total amount of tokens used, the input cost, as well as the output costs. But today, what we're gonna be doing is showcasing large language model challenge, which is a new feature, a part of Unstract, which uses two large language models to increase extraction accuracy while avoiding a hallucination. In essence, Large Language Model Challenge uses two AI models, one to extract the data and the other to double check it. If they don't agree, the result is set to null to avoid errors. This is going to help stop hallucination and make sure the data is more accurate, even if it takes a little bit more time and cost. Your main purpose to use this is to get accurate data extraction within the prompt studio of Unstract. It's going to help ensure information is pulled from the document by AI and it's going to do it correctly and trustworthy. So if you're extracting important contents from a bank statement, it's going to be able to accurately display any sort of contents that need to be extracted from the PDF. And essentially, this is to have it so that it would be used for production environments where reliability matters, like legal, finance, or compliance workflows. So if you want to use this feature, you want to click on the settings tab. And what you want to do is head over to LLM challenge and you want to make sure that you enable this. Now you can select the LLM uh, challenger large language model. So you can use the Azure GPT-4 Omni and you can then save this. Now, once you have done so, you can then go back into the main prompt studio. So what you want to do next is go over to the workflow and create your own workflow. And then you want to go ahead and upload a document. And this is to create the structured data from the unstructured document. So this way, once you open up that document, this is a random document we have. And we want to take out and parse the payment information as well as the spend line items. So in this case, you can run all large language models for the current doc. And once you have essentially ran through all the different sorts of things that you want to parse within this document, you can then go ahead and then click on this box over here and we can then export this as a tool. Then what you want to do is head over to workflows and then you want to select the tool that you just exported. In this case, this was the sample document that I was parsing. So I want to click on this and then we want to select the challenger large language model. We want to enable large language model challenge. And then you can also enable a couple of things like highlighting, enabling the summarize extraction, 
and these are a couple of features that that Unstrack provides and lets you use when you're using large language model challenge so in this case let's go ahead and click save and what you can do next is actually use the challenge in action now once large language model challenge is enabled it's going to automatically run during any extraction whether through an api or any sort of human review as soon as the extraction model provides output, the LLM challenge validates it and it's going to improve accuracy and trust. When using the API, you can pass the include underscore metadata parameter and this is to get extra details including the LLM logs and cost. This metadata could be found under the challenge underscore data file and this is where you can see that you now have the JSON response which could help debug and provide more transparency. You can also view the scores the challenger LLM assigns to the extractor large language model response. These scores are going to help show and evaluate how confident the challenger was in the extracted values and it's going to provide more transparency and insights in the validation process. When the API metadata is also enabled, you'll be able to get the token spent on the challenger large language model along with the cost estimate as seen in the screenshot below over here. And that's essentially what LLM challenge can do. It uses two large language models to validate extractions in real time and it's going to reduce hallucination and increase data accuracy and trust. Now I've made a couple of videos on this already and I definitely recommend that you take a look at it with the links in the description below. But essentially this is an open source tool. It's a no code platform for large language model powered unstructured data extraction. And the great thing is, is that you can actually install this locally with the following system requirements. If you fulfill it, you're going to be able to easily go ahead and follow through the setup guide to access the prompt studio. And essentially, this studio is where you can go ahead and process different types of unstructured data types from various files. And you can go ahead and use a different large language model to extract the contents from it and have it processed in a structured manner. Then you have LLM Whisper, which is why you might have clicked on this video. It's an AI document parser where it's going to revolutionize complex PDF data and it's going to get you the best extraction out of it. This is where it is going to help you process and prepare complex documents for optimal large language model processing. You can see that in this case, it's going to be able to take in your document and it's going to be able to process out text in a structured manner with the large language model and it's going to have it connected to a vector database. It's going to preserve layouts, it's going to accurately handle checkboxes, as well as radio buttons, and it's going to overall optimize token usage with auto compaction. It includes different features like automatic mode switching to OCR, you have pre-processing customization, and flexible deployment, and it's going to support various types of file types like PDFs, images, multiple output modes, and it's going to ensure high quality precision and cost efficient results for large language model tasks. So in this case, we have a pretty detailed uh, report of a contract. And in this case, you're able to see live in action that it was able to extract the data out of it. And you can see that the radio buttons as well as the check boxes were also extracted. In this case, the type of credit over here is displaying I am applying for an individual credit and it was able to correctly analyze and output that result over here in pure text and you can see that it's able to do this in almost every component of this page in the same manner you can do it with various types of file types that have different contents in it so in this case you have this account activity which records different types of transactions and this is where this could become super helpful for accountants you can possibly even automate data entry with this and have AI automate this process for you. And you can see it was able to accurately list out all the different transactions. For example, you can go over and go over to the Larry Hopkins transaction, and you can see that it was able to accurately display the correct uh, transaction, which is 265.40 cents. So you can see how precise this is in terms of extracting almost everything out of a page, no matter how difficult the layout is even of that PDF. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content 
plus a lot more but that's basically it for today's video on unstruct this is definitely one of the best large language model platforms for unstructuring data it's super easy to use and it's open source so i highly recommend that you take a look at it with all the links in the description below but with that thought guys make sure you subscribe to the new channel follow me on the newsletter join our discord stay up to date with the latest ai news on our twitter and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas